It's too early for my brain. <laughs> Don't even try to lift 10 kilo on either side of here. I mean, if you can, I'm in really good form. Good for you. I definitely can't. <laughs> I don't know a single person in the world who likes them. Honestly, and these ones just suck. Thinking I'm ready what food. I'm the only one, can I? Sitting at the gym, thinking about my breakfast. I don't even know what I'm gonna make. I don't think there's ever gonna be a day in my life where I'm going to hurling 20 kg, so. It's just painful in my soul. So I'm just trying to be honest and like showing you the reality. Good morning, everyone. Oh, today is an extra shift day. So I'll be stretching it out dynamically, of course. You probably have heard this in every single gym vlog or video that you've seen on YouTube, but it has its place. Like dynamic stretches before working out as a warm up is essential and crucial. So today I'm training legs. Am I training legs? I think I should be training upper body actually, guys. Oh my God, I actually have upper body today. Well, I'm still gonna open my hips today just because I had a chiropractor session yesterday. So I, yesterday, the day before yesterday. Oh my God, like literally, it's too early for my brain. <laughs> so I had a chiropractor session two days ago and you're not supposed to train for 24 hours. So of course I take that seriously. I didn't train for 24 hours because you basically get like everything adjusted, right? Where am I going with the story? Oh yeah, so I rested yesterday and on the day that I had my chiropractor session, I actually trained Lux. So I could be training anything I want. The only thing that I don't like about upper body training, don't get me wrong, I love upper body training. The only thing I don't like about it is that my gym um, that I'm training at at the moment, since more than two months already, um, has no cable towers like it has no cables and almost no machines or equipment yet okay let's warm up our upper body oh yes it feels so good i'm just gonna do some down dog but obviously not static dynamic always some down dog dynamic movements and then i'm gonna grab myself a band and warm up with the band. i actually just replayed my sequence and i saw that my upper body you guys like my head was cut off the whole time openings from my lats and my upper back with a band i absolutely love these like they truly work wonders they're so good you can just like literally feel the blood flow in your muscles i love that like if you have like any crazy knots usually for me they like open up like i don't know if you can hear them right now but it feels really good i'm gonna do some band pull apart so i know that name and that really helps to ooh, prep your back. Next, I'm gonna step in my band. I'm just gonna do some band that. Oh, this one is pretty light. Let's grab it a bit lower. Really, imagine you're rowing like a weight. So really squeeze your back. Like mimicking the movements that you're actually gonna do during your workout is what we wanna do in our warm up, right? Like, I'm probably not going to do any dumbbell rows, to be honest, but it's still is going to really help to warm up properly. Warm up done, I think. Um, I feel pretty warm, like I'm literally hot, actually. So let's take this off. Okay, we're starting today's session with some dumbbell rows. I'm actually going to set this up just because I think it's a bit nicer if you lift it not off the ground. Let's see, 11, that is 11. <laughs> Hooking the bar in. That is still way too low. I sometimes underestimate how tall I actually am. That's okay. So we're gonna start with just the bar. We're gonna do like 10 to 12 reps. I think I'm actually gonna do an underhand grip. And it's really important that you actually have a straight back. So a lot of people like lift like that in the way I'm standing right now. If you don't wanna do that, I'll come for you to do that. You really want to have a straight back at all times. So really reach out your shoulders, have a straight back, lift the bar in a great position. Step one step back if necessary. Lower down, keeping the back straight. And the back, uh, the butt basically goes back. And then you lift towards your belly button with control, okay? Five, six, seven. I think I'm switching from overhand grip. <laughs> okay, so I just decided to swap cameras. Gonna finally add some weights to this barbell here, you guys. Let's grab some fives for starters. 
I got some fives on. One step back. Going forward, pushing your back, your butt back, and pulling to your belly button. Controlled movements, guys. I'm going for eight reps in total. Um, and I'm gonna do, well, I've done like the first set, which was on a hand grab, and then I pivoted. So I'm gonna do two more with weights, because obviously, first I just used the barbell, which was like a warm up. So I'm gonna go for two more with weights, and I might add some more weights. To be very honest, I haven't done bubble, bubble rows in a while, but I have to get creative here. Like I don't have any cable leg -like pull downs here. I don't have any cable machines. I don't have so many things that I normally would do. So I have to pivot and like get become creative in my back workout specifically. Like legs is totally fine. You can do pretty much everything with a barbell and dumbbells. And um, we have like presses and stuff like that as well. So that's fine. It's literally like my back workouts are like ones that are the most impacted because you can do your back with dumbbells and barbell as well but i really like having cables like especially for cable lat pull downs this is my go-to exercise i'm going for another one for eight i definitely could and should add more weights but one more thing um this is also my first workout back after deload and i don't like to go like fully back in right away if you know what i mean I like to take my time because my muscles obviously haven't worked any heavy weights in like more than a week now. The deload was so necessary, so good. If you don't do deloads, you have to. Like you truly have to do deloads every once in a while. Let's show you this exercise from the side. Probably gonna use clips as well. Clip it all, clip it all for safety. Also, I wish every single gym in this world would have these black clips because they're so much better. I mean, quite every matter, honestly. But you know, like some gyms still have the old school metal ones. Doesn't anyone hate them? Like they're horrible. Oh, we actually have them as well. I'm just seeing some. Let me show you the difference. Ugh. It's gonna be our last set. Last set. Well, this exercise at least. Ugh. Let me step back. Not gonna lie, my form was horrible on this one. That's why we're making this gym vlog, right? So I can show you what's actually going on. Like, I'm not perfect. Those are the old school ones. Like, they're so hard to like use and bend. I hate them. Like, I don't know a single person in the world who likes them. And then you have these ones that you can just open and close. They're like so easy to use. So easy to like get off and on the barbell, honestly. And these ones just suck. Let's move on to our next exercise. We're gonna do, we have like one back machine in this entire gym. We're gonna do this one back machine. This is it's like a upper back row. Ideally, I would do just one rowing exercise. And then as I already mentioned a million times, I would normally do a lat pull down, which we don't have here. And I tried doing lat pull downs with um, a band. Honestly, it's not the same. <laughs> like you A, cannot track your progress at all. Be like, oh, it's just not the same at all. Like, let's hop over to the machine. Next exercise is this bad boy here. I'm just gonna add 10, one plate to begin with because it's too light without any load on it. But I'm gonna go for 10 reps. Okay, we're adding another plate to either side, totaling to winning kg. Go. And here, really important to have your back straight, okay? You check your shoulder blades. <laughs> Last one, you guys. I have three plates on each side. I'm gonna do, I think, just six. Okay, one for six. <laughs> Next set we're doing, so obviously I don't have any cables to do face pulls or anything like that. We are walking our delts. I'm just gonna lean forward with two super light dumbbells. I'm gonna go heavier. The next one, I just wanna show you. We basically lean forward. And then we just do a reverse fly. Nobody screams when you're at the top. 
for like at least uh, a second. Okay, this will work. Oh, let's do another one. I have four kg dumbbells now. And honestly, this is not an exercise where you can like go super heavy, okay? So don't even try to lift 10 kg on either side of here. I mean, if you can, I'm really good form. Good for you. I definitely can't. <laughs> okay. Huh, I think I can go heavier today. Okay, let's do let's go for six. So in these moments I genuinely wish that my gym had like every dumbbell available. Like we have only two, four, six, eight, like it always jumps in two. I wish we had like five kg as well. That's okay. I'm not gonna complain about it. I'm gonna take a break, um obviously. Please rest in between your sets. If you don't, you will not be able to perform as much. So then I'll wait like at least a minute. And especially when you do like a set close to failure, you should be resting like at least 15 minutes. Like this should be your absolute minimum. Like rest 15 minutes in between your last set. With your last set is going to be your set of failure for me it usually is. So this is my last set here. I'm gonna do I'm gonna aim for six. Like six reps. Six reps of six kg. I'm actually starting to get hungry. It's only 8 a.m. Thinking already what food. I'm the only one, can I? Sitting at the gym, thinking about my breakfast. I don't even know what I'm gonna make. It's funny because I know a lot of people like always prep their breakfast the day before or like ahead or whatever. But like I always have to decide on the spot whether I want to stay or eat breakfast. So I wouldn't be able to decide yesterday that I'm gonna have, for example, a smoothie bowl. Like what if I don't want a smoothie bowl already? <laughs> Okay, we've got some bicep curls, some dumbbell bicep curls left. I'm starting with 8 kg. My ideal weight actually is a 9, but I already mentioned that. That is not an option. So we're gonna do for some... I wanna try and do not single number. Okay. We're going for 10. Oh, let's go. And I always like tell you to do progressive overload, but there is like multiple ways of achieving that because obviously with bicep curls, I'm doing a kg. I, I mean, I can also do 10, but I definitely cannot curl 12 kilos. And ideally, you obviously want to like increase your weights um, every week or so. There is like some muscles, like for example, side radials or biceps, especially for women, like you just won't be able to lift more weights. <laughs> at some point like obviously you're just gonna max out like pretty quickly i don't think there's ever gonna be a day in my life where i'm going to curling 20 kg so just to like give you a sort of an impression or like um an idea that progressive overload is not necessarily only about increasing your weights there's so many different ways to achieve progressive overload so i'm sticking to 8 kg today i don't do 10 all the time because 10 for me is heavy like 10 curling 10 kg I can do it for eight, but it's heavy. <laughs> it's definitely not an easy one, okay? Please don't know about are your weights to someone else's weights. Just to give you like an, a rough idea. We're gonna go for, yeah, eight, eight to 10 reps again. And one, two, three. Ugh, one more curling exercise. I feel like I've sneezed. It's like coming out. You know that feeling when you have to sneeze, but it does not come in, and it's really not a nice feeling. Ah, oh, it's like tickling in my nose. Last one, the last curl. Baby, can you handle it? Handle me. Let's have a quick little chat. So I technically finished my workout already. I think I wanna end the session with some assisted pull-ups. Not usually how I end my sessions, to be very honest, but I think because I had a deload last week, obviously, I have some extra energy, you know? You don't always have to deplete your energy in a workout. Um, that's not what I'm trying to say here at all. Like, it's, I think it's actually a great feeling to leave the gym and still have some energy. Like, we shouldn't be, like, be completely a zombie mode. Um, but I'm just going to do some assisted pull-ups. I'm not going to be super heavy or whatever. Um, just because I really stopped practicing pull-ups at all, like, literally. 
haven't been doing like any pull-up practices in a while and i just want to get better as well um oh no i chipped my nail again like i think in every vlog oh yeah here you can see i just chipped my nail like that's actually painful it, it wasn't painful at all like it didn't hurt it's just painful in my soul my, one of my goals for this year is to be able to do weighted pull-ups for that i also need to practice more pull-ups just finished my workout and you know how people in the west <laughs> always like vlog from the car and i really like that i would love to like sit in a car but you know i live in bali and no one drives a car here so i'm sitting on my bike <laughs> That is actually so funny. I've never seen anyone vlog on their bike. Um, but anyway, I just finished my session. Today was honestly, ew, I have freaking bird poop on my bike. I don't like that. Honestly, like today's session was like all over the place. Um, I think that has to do with still trying to adjust to like not having all the equipment that I usually have. Um, ew, it's getting hot. And they're actually like, obviously trying to get the equipment here as fast as possible. Ooh, my apologies. So hopefully the equipment is gonna be here quick. Like we're talking about like hopefully in a week or two. So I can like do another vlog where I like show you how I would train with all the equipment available. Since we don't have that now, we're just gonna go with what we have. So I'm just trying to be honest and like showing you the reality. Like even if you have like the perfect gym plan, the perfect program that you're following, there is just gonna be days and weeks where you just cannot 100% stick to it. And obviously like making excuses is something different. If you're like being genuinely honest with yourself and you're not making excuses and you still can't stick 100% to the program, that's fine. Like honestly, like don't beat yourself up for it, but like just say, what can you do instead? Like what is your next best, next best option? My next best option was to obviously like rest between my leg and my upper body day. So that's why I am having my upper body day after a rest day. So that's, that's it for today, I think. I think I chatted long enough. Um, I'm gonna come back here. It's raining. Oh, what's even, what is this day? Like, what is even happening? I'm gonna come back to the gym tomorrow for a leg day. So as I already said, usually I would have a rest day. Uh, I wouldn't, yeah, I would have a rest day. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, I'm coming back here tomorrow for leg day. And I'm gonna take you with me again. See you tomorrow.